Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight the question we are answering is what's in the box in regards to this rather heavy cardboard box that has the word Unidragon and Quezzel all over it because that's exactly what this is. This is how the puzzle board game mystery escape room in a box mashup that is Quezzel gets shipped. This is set, shipped and sold from Unidragon Games. I do have to thank them for sending us a review copy of this. This is something called the, the, the Quezzle, which is, is it a quest? Is it a puzzle? That's where that comes from. So, rather interesting shipping container. This is how it showed up at our house, like this. It was in another box, which I thought was interesting. And we are going to crack this open and take a look at the puzzles, or quest, or whatever you want to call it, that's inside. Alright, so here we have, it's this nice little handle on top, I kind of showed that. Tape it, we do have tape going across here, over to this side, which I actually pre-cut, to be able to open this up. And handles open this up. We get this and this, and on top, we have a poster. This just says, part one, okay. So there are four parts to this puzzle, and it looks like they make an overall huge picture with lots and lots of balloons on it. So we have part one, part two, part three, part four. All four parts are in this box. Now, when you do purchase Quezzel, you can buy just part one. You could buy then parts three, four, two, three, four. So if you buy part one to check it out, and if you like it, you can get the other two. Or you could buy it all at once. We obviously got shipped the all-in-one. So that's that. And then we can see how these are in here. So it does say part one of four. And I think what I'm going to do is tip this. So here we have part one. Okay, the lids don't like lock on. I expected like something to unsnap here. Part two. Oh, with a interesting little extra bit here. We're going to slide this back. Part three of four and part four of four. Now we're going to ditch this box for now. And put these in reverse order here. So four on the bottom. Two. And one. Oh, so this is also... So here's our instructions and stuff. All right, so this says right on it, so one thing I will point out right away, these are laser cut wood. So you have laser cut wood boxes with the instructions or whatever on the back here. Laser etched uh, explains unique wooden puzzles that make you fall in love with them at the first touch. I gotta admit, the quality is nice here. Quezzle is a completely new format in the universe of puzzles and mind breakers. Mind breakers. It's an unbelievably interesting puzzle in combination with plenty of quests. Colorful, detailed universe from IC4 Design Studios with hundreds of characters and their stories. Unique figurines and plenty of unusually shaped wooden pieces bring you the Cappadocia atmosphere. After all districts are assembled, you are awaited by an exciting adventure in the world full of mysteries and riddles. Step by step, you are to get through the mazes, find characters, assemble secret puzzles, and many more. Just a little bit of... um. Broken English going in there. Um, there is a little thing here. There's an address. So, the who manufactured it and so on. So, it does say age 14 plus. I have seen no reason this should be 14 plus. So, this is what part one of four Amazing Cappadocia looks like. Like I said, there's already a thing here, which is really interesting looking. Numbered. These could punch out. I don't know if I want to punch anything. Perhaps. So let's punch out number one. So that came out pretty easily. So I have no idea what this number one is, but you can see the piece here. You can see the thickness. The back, I'm wondering if there's some kind of other puzzle going on, because there's some interesting markings on the back here. So that's number one, and then there's a number two, three. I don't want to punch these out. So these say puzzle parts. So again, there's some interesting markings besides just the laser cut here. 
Then we have some instructions here. So let's take a quick look at this. It says puzzle part connectors. Oh, okay. That's cool. So these right here are the connectors to connect puzzles one, two, three, four together. And then it says fix the result. I'm, I'm assuming they're saying glue them together. So Quezzle consists of four rectangular parts. They can be assembled separately and then put together. We know how to keep the Quezzel assembled. It will not move apart while lying on the table, and it will become even easier to fix it with gluing system. So additional parts, these are the, that replace several ordinary pieces. Oh, so you remove specific parts from the puzzle and then place these in instead. So that's actually pretty cool, way to attach all the puzzles together. Then what we have on here is just a box that rests on top, which I didn't expect. I actually expected with the, the wooden here that it would latch on some way. Uh, again, this is the art on the covers here is really nice. The thickness and quality is really solid here. Uh, then we have more instructions. Interesting newsprint format. Oh, which actually, see, if they had folded this this way, it would feel much more like a newspaper. I get it. And I understand why they have their rules trace front and center. But seeing it this way, it looks much more interesting. So, it's a new puzzle format from Unidragon. We combine puzzles and quests. Um, I'm going to get through most of this. This is their first project. It's about Cappadocia. Cappadocia is a magical world inhabited by many characters. Main plot revolves around the mysterious kidnapping of the Unidragon princess and the adventures of a prince intending to bring her back. It's filled with talking bears, unicorns, distracted stargazers, and other equally funny creatures. As you read the stories, you'll immerse yourself in the atmosphere. So it consists of four districts. That's your four different parts. A, B, C, D. It says how to go through the story. Complete the story quest. You need to collect the four districts into a single world. Then a secret part of the task will open to you, which will lead the plot to the denouement. There are trials ahead that not everyone can handle, but are you sure you'll be successful? Go for it. And then we have some, like, Welcome to the Heavenly Dragon. There's a QR code here. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to read any of this out loud. Um, it looks like there's multiple different news stories you can get involved in. And then on the back, there is a travel guide as well, including some tips. And it talks about who, the, who worked together, who did the artwork and everything on here, and credits. What I do want to show off, though, is... Wow, okay. So there's a really cool burlap sack here to hold all the pieces. Some of these pieces... I don't even know what this is. What is this? Place the cover in the stand. So this is a stand for the cover. I'm assuming that's what this means. So I don't know if there's more than one of these, but there is a way to stand up the cover to put it so you can kind of see. Oh, I have it upside down. So yes, there is a stand here for the cover, I guess. So you can kind of stand it up. And while we have lots of fascinating looking, yeah, there's two of these, obviously. That makes more sense. Two of these to hold up the stand. Then we have pieces. Uh, the colors are extremely vibrant. Really stick out. I'm sure you can see that probably well enough. Here, I have two pieces that may fit together. No. Um, we have jigsaw puzzle. Obviously, some pieces are shaped. Some of these very distinct balloon-like shapes. A uh, lot in here. Oh, I found a corner. Corners are important. Found a corner. The back, again, makes me wonder if something else is going on here. I see arrows and stuff kind of on the back. Maybe that's just part of the CAD, how they drew it. What the heck is this? What a unique shape. Okay, this says the word double on the front, but when I look at this, it looks like a submarine or something. Doesn't it look like some kind of submarine? And it says something different on the other side. It says Don Bull. No. Well, it's still double, but it's worded a different way. So yeah, there's some interesting stuff going on here. Looks pretty cool. Uh, lots of different pieces in here. Lots of different shapes. It's a puzzle. What do you expect, right? What I am impressed by is, again, the thickness of the parts. They're extremely well cut. I don't see any... You know how normally when you get some laser cut, you see burn marks? I don't see any of that. 
Uh, doesn't look easy. I will admit that. Um, did it say how many pieces is? 250 pieces. In here. So I'll just kind of hold that up so you can kind of see. Again, it's in this burlap sack, which is kind of nice. So there you go. That's what you get in Quezzel, part one of four. Of course, now I'm trying to get this to fit back together. It's probably not going to be the easiest. Instructions. The lid. The way they did this whole bonus piece thing on top is actually kind of brilliant. The way that slots in. We'll put this back. Yep, yeah, that fit back in nice. All right, I don't want to spoil too much. So we're going to quickly look at part two and three. So this just comes with a piece that says Unidragon. This is a full puzzle. So this is like a small little tiny puzzle that I could also take apart, but I'm not going to. So you can see the cut marks on the back here. So this contains a whole other little tiny puzzle. And then inside, oh, we have additional rules. Oh, it's more, more newspapers. So more puzzles, more things to solve, more things to look for. And again, burlap sack, 250 colorful pieces and a stand for the cover, which of course the cover shows you the final puzzle. Oh, put this on top. I will assume we're gonna get more of the same. So part three, same deal. We have more uh, newspaper. I have no clue, it looks like a magnet. Glue. It's a little piece of padded foam. So some kind of foam sticker piece. I have no idea. Burlap sack piece, puzzle pieces. And finally, Quezzle part 404 with another sheet and, of course, more puzzle pieces under burlap. What I will say is it looks like if you're going to pick this up, you really want all four of these. You want to get the whole set. It seems very incomplete without the whole thing. So these don't stack any particular way or anything. They don't stand up. Um, one thing that's a little disappointing is I thought these were going to latch on. They do not. You are not going to want to store these this way, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, you can see it's coming apart already in the top corner. You're going to want to stack these on top of each other, as I am doing right now. Kind of wish those lids fit a little better. I, I would have preferred something that snaps on, like a little hinge to catch on there. And then the overall puzzle that shows you the entire map, or sorry, poster that shows the entire map, which that's not a pretty boring thing to have on top. <laughs> so we'll throw it in the middle for now. So there you have it. Part one to four of Quezzel. Is it a puzzle? Is it a quest? No, it's both. So here we have it. The stack of four parts of the Quezzel puzzle from Unidragon. These are wood cut, laser cut, wooden puzzles, uh, one-sided for sure, with very vibrant colors, lots of graphics, making this world they're calling Amazing Cappadocia. Uh, with that are these like newspaper articles that have things for you to do in the quests. As for how those play out, we'll find out once I actually get these to the table and play them with my kids, which I am really looking forward to doing. Now, my only caveat with this so far is you can purchase just part one of four to check it out, and then you can purchase the other parts. And you may want to do that, but personally, this seems like it's pretty much incomplete without having the entire set of all four of the Quezzles to make the full poster and solve the full puzzle. Which, from what we can tell, based on the books that are in here, or the pamphlets, uh, you are doing playing a prince or guiding a prince or trying to find a prince who's trying to save a princess. Pretty traditional fantasy trope there. Lots of balloons. Uh, quality seems excellent. Only complaint about quality is these lids just sit on top. There is nothing to really hold them in place. And due to that, you're probably not going to want to store your games uh, vertically. You're going to want to store them horizontally. Store your games, your puzzles. So yeah, lids fit well enough, but they're not. there's nothing to hold them in place. I would have preferred that. So there you have it. What you get with Quezzle from Unidragon Games. 
Now, if you follow me online in the next coming weeks, I do plan on playing this with my kids and I'll be sharing my thoughts on our social media feeds on Twitter, Instagram, and so on, where you can find me as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Eventually, I'll be doing up a full review, which you can listen to on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast or read at tabletopbellhop.com. Finally, if you dig this video and you appreciate the work that goes into creating this content and hearing about games and seeing them for yourselves, uh, you can head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. For the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.